going to record this. Okay, till now we have actually understood that how we can put different colors and according to different numerical values, how bubble size is getting changed, right? But if we want to make some pie chart in this particular uh, map, that is possible. So for that, instead of, let, uh, I mean, location that is present in the legend, you can put some other variable, like you can put type also over there, okay? Any other categorical value, you can put it over there. And you can see the change. Okay. Yeah. It is showing you a pie chart, right? At different location, what is the different type? I mean, how uh, means what is the type corresponding to different location that is showing, that is being shown over here? Is it clear, all of you, regarding cost it is showing? Clear, everyone? How to make pie chart in map? Okay. You have uh, to simply put hello? another variable, like type. Uh, oh, yeah. Can you repeat it, ma'am? Pie chart. Sure, sure, sure. I will start it from the beginning also itself. If you are having any confusions. Okay. Right now, this is our simple chart. Okay. What I will do, I will put the location in over here. Okay. If I want different location within in different color, I can put the location in legend so that it will appear with different color. And if I want uh, some locations which are having highest cost to be shown with big bubble and smallest cost should, uh, should be shown with small bubble, in that case, I should go to this bubble option, bubble size option. I should put the cost over there. So based on highest cost, it will show big, big bubble. And based on lowest cost, it will show a small bubble, right? Here the cost is very low comparatively and here cost is comparatively big. That's why the size difference is coming over there. Okay, now if you want to put a pie chart based on some categorical variable in the map. So in that case, go to legend and um, mark and remove that particular variable which was over there, which were, was giving some color over there. Okay, you can take any categorical variable like book table I am taking. It is having only two categories, yes and no, right? So it will show you pie chart in that manner only, okay? Yes and no. Blue color means no and dark blue color means yes. Okay, here also you can see. It is showing book table, yes. Okay, and when I am going to the light blue color, it is showing book table, no. Is that clear all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, instead of uh, book table, you can put some other variable also, like type also you can put. And since type is having seven different categories, so it will show you a better pie chart like this. Okay, dine out and this one is and other things like delivery. Okay. You can go to different, you can move your cursor over there and you can check out different things. Okay. I hope it is clear to all of you. Map is clear, right? <coughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Now let us move on to field map. So for that case, I will take a new data set, okay? Like if we want to show different locations with different colors. So in that case, I will take a new, new data set in which a few location is mentioned so that it is clearly visible to you like Indian states and district. Those who have attended yesterday's session, they all they are already familiar about this particular data set. And here I will tell you a few tips regarding data cleaning also. Okay, here I am taking, uh, I have to mark the checkbox, then only it will show the preview and I will be able to load it. But this particular uh, web data set is having null values. So I need to clean it. So for cleaning, go to transform data and then Power Query will appear, Power Query editor will appear where we can actually clean our data set. And once we have done all cleaning, we have to click on close and apply so that all the changes are reflected in Power BI desktop. So when you will click the drop down corresponding to column four, you can see only nulls are there. 
So we don't need this particular column because it will not give you any idea. So you can simply remove it by right clicking. If somehow you want the column back, you can go to this applied steps and you can mark this cross. You can click on the cross mark so that again it will come. But since I don't want it, I will simply remove it like this. Okay. Now, what is the problem left is this particular row is not required for us. Because this particular data set is regarding different states and union territories and corresponding districts and which type of state is there. So this record is, the first record is completely unnecessary for us. So in that case, we can go to remove rows, remove rows. And using this option that is remove top rows, you can uh, remove n number of top rows. Okay, when you will click over there, how many number of top rows you want to remove, they will ask. Okay, since only one row is problematic one, I will type only one. Okay, first row only is needed to be removed. Now click on OK. That particular thing is gone. Okay. Now what is the problem left with this data set is actually the first row should be the column header, right? State. Here state should come. Here district name should come. And here state type should come. So for that in home, there is an option called first row. Use first row as header. When you will click that particular option. Okay. Now it is coming like state, district, and state type. Okay. Is it clear, all of you? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so now if some blank rows are there or some errors are there, that also we can remove by going to remove rows. And there is an option called remove errors. So that will go. Again, go to remove rows and choose remove blank rows. That also is updated. Now the data set is all good. We can click on close and apply. So the changes will be reflected over here and you can see a new data set over here. Okay, it is getting loaded. <coughs> okay, you can see sheet one over here. Okay, you can rename it to anything else like India. Okay. I'm renaming it as India. And here, what you can do is you can take the field map, okay? Field map you can take. And here, uh, I'm taking state only, state in location as well as state in legend. So it will show different states in different. Now it is, when I'm putting state in location, it is showing me entire map of India because only Indian states and union territories are there, okay? And when I will put the same state in legend, it will show me different uh, union territories and state with different color. Okay. Is that clear, all of you? Is it clear, everyone? Any doubts? Yes, ma'am. Clear, right? So, shall I wind up the meeting if everything is okay for you? Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Welcome.